Hey everyone, welcome to another ranking video. Welcome to a very quick ranking video of Mark McDonough's movies. He's directed four films and I'm here to rank all four of those movies in my opinion from my least favorite to my favorite. It's been a while since I've just done a basic ranking, not a tier ranking or a top 10 list, just a ranking. Kind of miss them. They're easy to do. Anyways, uh, these are those movies that he just directed, not produced, not written, directed. All right, and of course, it's all my opinion. So let's get to it. Coming at number four is Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. It's a good movie. I really liked it. I think um, Sam Rockwell is the standout in this movie. I think he's great. I think he is funny. And I think his character arc is really great. I think he is the best thing about this movie. Frances McDormand is good. She's a bit unlikable, and I don't like some of her acting in this movie. I know she won the Oscar for it. Okay, but uh, some parts of her acting was a little weird. Especially when she's like talking to her slippers. It's a little odd. There's the things that in the movie that come off a bit forced. Yeah. I also did not like Woody Harrelson's character. I, I, I was so confused about his character sometimes. And just, I don't know. But I I find the story interesting, and there is some really good dark comedy in this movie. And again, everything with Sam Rockwell was really good. I think the movie is a bit overhyped. I would have never given it all that Oscar love. I think it's just a good movie. I think it's a solid like six and a half out of ten. I still think it's a good movie. I just don't think it's amazing, or even close to Martin McDonough's other films. So, anyways. Number three, Seven Psychopaths. Now, this is a very funny movie and a very sick and very twisted movie. It's literally about an author played by, um, uh, not an author, a screenwriter played by uh, Colin Farrell. He's writing a movie about seven psychopaths. And he's like thinking of all these stories he can put in his movie about psychopaths and stuff. But while he's doing this, he's dealing with his best friend played by Sam Rockwell. And he's also dealing with a crime boss who's a complete psychopath and shit like that. And there's also a hitman who's like taking out Woody Harrelson's men in the movie. And he thinks Colin Farrell and Sam Rockwell are involved. And then it involves a kidnapping with a dog. And there's just so much crazy shit happens. There's also like a bunch of short stories within the movie. There's a lot going on in this movie. And it's great. The cast is fantastic. Colin Farrell, Woody Harrelson... Sam Rockwell, who's great in all his movies. Um, what's his name? Christopher Walken. Everyone's great. Super funny movie. It's very brutal, very violent. Fucking love it. Really good. Uh, number two, The Banshees of Inishirin. The Banshees of Inishirin was solid. Really great movie. Really enjoyed the performances by Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson. Really great dark comedy. Very fascinating story about the ending of a friendship. Did a whole review of it. Don't want to spoil too much. It's a good film, though. It's one of my favorites of the year. But number one, In Bruges. Hell yeah. <laughs> Love this movie. This movie is super funny, super dark. It has no political correctness in it whatsoever, and that's why it works. Again, Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson. Colin Farrell loves to be in his movies. Both hilarious in this movie about these, like, two hitmen. And basically, one of the hitmen has to take one of them out but he's taking him out on one last like vacation spot in Bruges and stuff and he's like why are you taking me here it's like the worst spot ever and then Ray Fiennes is like their boss and he's wondering why the job isn't done yet and <laughs> a lot of weird stuff happens in this movie weird shit and it is funny it's one of the funniest movies you'll watch it is hysterical very dark very insensitive not in the slightest bit politically correct and I loved every second of it. <laughs> Colin Farrell's probably my favorite character in this movie. He's probably one of my favorite characters in movies. He's top 20 for sure. I love him in this movie. It is super funny movie. And the ending is just so fucked up. I'm just like, what is happening? That's what makes it great, though. <laughs> Easily, uh, it was his first movie. And it's his best. So good. So yeah, that was my quick little ranking of Mark McDonough's movies. So in the comments below... Uh, let me know where's your ranking of all his films from your least favorite to your favorite, from your least favorite to your favorite. Comment below, let me know. And as always, like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.